Hi everyone, today we're going to review the different Octonauts play sets. So we've got the GUP A mission vehicle with barnacles, we've got the GUP B mission vehicle with Quasi, we've got Shellington and the GUP C, which is right there, and then finally we've got deep sea diving barnacles and the GUP D, which is there. So we're going to look at all four of these Octonaut play sets and vehicles and see which one's the best for you. Now before we start, one of the reasons why you see a bathtub is because all four of these can be used in your bathtub. So let's look at them and see how they compare. Okay, the GUP A mission vehicle is right, the biggest of all and it's probably, it, it will store some of your other Octonauts because you can see you've got opens up the back and in the front. Now he will play and roll on any surface or you can wind him up the propeller like this. If you wind him up, he'll, he'll actually roll across your floor or he will slowly go across the water. Now he doesn't go very far, but you can see that, that it will work. Now he actually works a lot better if he's in on the floor, on a hardwood floor. Now he won't roll on carpet. That's the way he is. Now he has a net, but unlike the Gup D, he can't shoot it. And down below you can see it comes with an angler fish. Now if you want, you can also replace the net with this hook to see if the GUP-D can get different creatures. So that is the GUP-A mission vehicle. And now let's look at the GUP-B with Quasi. Up next we've got the GUP-B with Quasi right here. And it comes with a shark. Now it's going to be hard to see but the shark's orange. But if you put him in the water, he turns yellow. And the shark looks like the shark in the GUP-B. Now the GUP-B floats along and he rolls on the floor just like the mission the GUP A, so he will, but he also floats. Now one of the fun things about the GUP A is if you push back here on the fin, you can also fire water. So let's watch that one more time. So that is the GUP A. Now he's pretty easy to work with and he comes with a net so you can try to catch your sharks that's in the water already. Now you're probably going to be a lot better at this than I am. But once you catch them, you can do your creature report. So that is the Gup A with Quasi. Next we've got the Gup C with Shellington. Now the Gup C doesn't float real well until you kind of fill it full of water. And then it floats a lot better. So there it is. Filled, you got to keep Shellington in. And then it comes with a whale right here. And he changes color. So you put it in then the orange becomes yellow. Now one of the things about the GUP D is that you can use a little hole right here to see right to the bottom of your bathtub. And we'll see that here in a second. Okay, you see the manta ray right there? Now if you look, you can also see it right through there, through the little porthole. So there's the manta ray, and there he is through the target. So that's one of the features of the GUP B. Now it has a little hook here for catching the whale and the GUP C, and so the GUP C actually looks a little bit like a whale. Next we're going to look at the GUP D with deep sea diving barnacles. Okay, so here's the GUP D with barnacles, and it comes with a manta ray, and again, the manta ray will change from blue to purple, so you can kind of see that it's blue, but then it's going back to purple. So you put that in the water, and you'll the GUP D can actually fire his net, so you push it in. You can also fire water, just like the GUP B. But the other thing that it does is that it, barnacles can actually go deep sea diving. So let's see how he does that. Okay, you connect the hose underneath to the back of barnacles, then you place them in the water, then you place the other side right here onto the GUP D. You put the GUP D in the water and you push the fin and barnacles will start to dive underneath the water. Now it does take a little while to get him to go under, but once he does he can look for the stingray. You can see his little bubbles coming up. 
and there he stays at the bottom of the water. And if you push the, the fin one more time, he'll come up and go back down. Up and down. So that is how barnacles can go deep sea diving. Okay, so now you've seen all four of the Octonaut vehicles. The Gup A makes probably the best toy outside of the bathtub, because when you wind up his propeller, he can glow on the floor. So, wind up his propeller. And there he goes. So he's the best indoor toy. Now, the Gup B and the Gup D are probably the best bathtub toys. And I think my daughter, who's four, enjoys Barnacles and the Gup D the absolute best. Although the Gup B is pretty fun too. Now our least favorite is probably the Gup C with Shellington because he doesn't really float that well and the eye hole only works so-so. Also the crane on his back has a tendency to fall off. So those are the four Gup vehicles. Now if you have any questions please let me know or if you would let me know which one you like the best and which of the Octonauts is your favorite. So take care and have a great day.